All right, so let's get started. Um, on the opposite side of the wall here, we have our five switches. They're all in the down position, so let me go ahead and flip uh, these so that we have our combination. Let's just use the same combination. Down, up, down, up, up. There we are. Right now, obviously, it does nothing. But when we go to design the circuits, that's is, this is going to pose a problem, because if you remember correctly, redstone circuits have to have a space between them so that the wires don't run together. But there's an easy way when you have uh, switches close to one e close to one another in this manner to get them to work properly. Uh, what we'll use in this case is just a couple of redstone torches on the other side of the wall. And because those are in opposition of each other, you'll see uh, these torches are lit up opposite to what the switches are turned to in the back. But uh, from here, we'll go three down, keeping a space in between. And because we can use this principle over here where the block is powered by the torch below it and the wire above is lit up, we can do that over here. So for the middle two, we'll go up with those. And the torches underneath those will power the blocks above. And of course, the torches on the outside and the very center will power these blocks. I'll go ahead and expand this out. Now I happen to know that we're going to need a little more space overhead, so I'll go ahead and bring this line up just one. And let's go ahead and run some redstone wire out here. Whoops. And up here as well. And then the next thing we're going to do, it's, um, as I mentioned, it's a series of AND gates that are all interconnected so that in the end we have just a single output that runs to the door when it's on, the door's open, when it's off, the door's closed, obviously. And what I like to do is to first combine all the lines that are the same. So we have line one and line three are the same back here, so we need to combine those. And they're actually on the bottom here, and they have... Um, they're right next to each other, so I think they're perfect candidates for being our first AND gate. So the AND gate is pretty simple. It's just three blocks. I'm using six here because I keep my circuitry off the ground. Uh, get a torch on the outside blocks, piece of redstone on the inside, and a torch in the middle. And then you have the output. Now there's two tips that I need to give you at this point that will make your life much easier when designing these combination lock systems. And those tips are when you have uh, outputs here from the wall that are in off, that are appear to be off, you need to invert them so that all the lines appear to be on. That's the first tip. The second is you have to do the inversion before the AND gate, otherwise you'll run into problems. Trust me, Crave and I uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure that out the first time we did this, and we ran into a, a number of problems. So just trust me, it's kind of beyond my abilities to explain in a simple way why that is, but uh, essentially what we're going to do is invert these lines so that they appear to be on before the first AND gate. And that's the inverter, like I showed you over there. So now we have essentially five live wires that we can easily combine into in AND gates any way that we like, actually, but I just like to keep them together for clarity. So now that we've inverted those lines, let's go back to our AND gate. Torches on the outside redstone on the inside, and another torch on that bottom block. So there's our first AND gate. Pretty simple stuff. Now the next one is going to be uh, line 2 and 4, just because they're the same, and they're right beside each other. So we'll bring those out. Keep in mind that the torches power anything above them, so we've got to make sure that we have clearance over here. 
and I can already see that when we run the output from the AND gate, it's going to run right over this torch. So I think what we should do is just bring this straight back. Let me get some more cobble here. And we'll just put our AND gate here. Now, uh, this torch will power the block above it, but the block that's there is not actually going to touch these top three blocks, which are the actual AND gates, so we don't have to worry about any short circuits or anything there. Two torches on the outside, redstone on the inside, and another torch on that bottom block. And then we can just run that out like that. There's our second AND gate. Pretty simple so far. Let me run these lines into that AND gate so it actually works. And now we've got to make a decision as to how to get this fifth line connected to this top AND gate because again I keep the lines that are the same in this case two four and five are all the same direction as far as the levers are concerned um, instead of running this line up into another AND gate here and then going back down I think we should just bring this output down and bring this output over and run them together on the ground. I think that would be the most, uh, the easiest way to do that. I just want to make it clear that I enjoy just watching you build instead of helping you. I know, quite I a usually relief. do all the work anyway. I'm kind of used to it. But you are the camera guy, and uh, that's what you get for having a better computer. So I run these line down. I trim out the bottom uh, blocks here that weren't necessary just so they don't catch power from another line or something and cross. Those types of problems are the one that'll keep you scratching your head for hours trying to figure out why your circuitry is broken. Um, all right, so we need to bring this out like this and create another AND gate. Torches on the outside, redstone in the center, and a redstone torch in the middle there. You should know how to do this by heart now. You can probably do it better than I can at this point. And then we'll just run the li uh, line back there into that AND gate. And there we have it. Those three lines are all combined into one output. We've got to take these back two lines, which are already in an AND gate, and run it out. And this might cause a problem just because of the distance for the redstone wire. It can only run 15 uh, blocks before it needs a repeater to add power, but that's easy enough to do. Um, and we'll combine the AND gate here. Torches, redstone, another torch, a block, a little more redstone, and then we'll run this. It's got to go into this input. Now on the AND gates, it doesn't matter whether you do the input from the side of this block or on the back of it, it'll still receive power to the torch. Obviously, you couldn't run it in this side because of this torch here, but uh, it makes no difference how you actually run that into the block. Went one too far there. And then we just run the wire in. There we go, and that, that last line actually has power, so it looks like we don't need a repeater after all. That's probably 13 or 14 blocks, something like that. But uh, we've now combined all the lines together. We have one final output line here, and this is the one that will run to the door. You could essentially just run this straight to the door, but if you want to hide this a little bit, it's easiest by far to run it into that block there. Just straight into the door, but that doesn't allow you to cover this up. Of course, you have to cover there, which blocks the door and you can't put the block there because it'll break the line. So what you'll need to do, let me pull this out just a little bit so you can see it. Oh, super pickaxe is nice, isn't it? Now to get the power to run up into this block, we're gonna use um, a torch. You can put the torch just like that because it powers underneath. But if you run the line like this, you can't actually invert the signal using another torch or an input like that. So what you have to do is um, 
Actually, I forgot what I did on this side over here. This is part of the problem with just waking up, not thinking correctly. Oh, yes. Actually go down one more block. And then run the line from the bottom like that into that block, which will power that torch. You'll watch. Um, it reverses the signal. And then we can just run this redstone wire up in this manner. I can line this up properly. Oh, I'm out of redstone. Uh oh. Gotta go I mine some more. more. Uh, I'll pass, thanks. I'm sure they don't want to watch that. Now that line is not going, it's going to be way too far, so I'm going to have to put a repeater in there. I'll just throw it down there. But, um, notice that the output here is off, but the door is still open, which means that this is kind of reversed when the levers are, uh, when they're, uh, switched. It's actually the reverse, so what you need to do is put an inverter in here, I'll just put it here. Throw a block, and a torch, there we go. Now the door is closed. Down, up, down, up, up. But that's actually, that's correct, what did I do wrong? Oh, I think we've got one torch. Yes, this isn't working here. Oh, I know what the problem is. When you run it into the side directly like that, it doesn't work. So what we have to do is bring this line back one. There we go. It has to be a direct line like this. And I heard the door open up in the background, so this line actually needs to come out. It still doesn't matter what side you run that into, just keep in mind that it needs a straight segment of line there, so do it that way to work. Of course we've got the inverter now so it turns the line off until it gets down to the door and this is opposite whatever the, uh, the line is of course so the door is now open and when we flip any of the levers inside the combination is broken and it won't work until we get that combination right down up down up up and voila there you have it. That's how you make a combination. Pretty simple. Um, like I said, it's a lot easier than it looks. Once you've done it a few times, you can do it in your sleep. And uh, you'll probably end up being able to do it better than I can. Obviously, uh, I still have issues from time to time, but that's to be expected. And that's pretty much all there is to cover. So uh, until next time, get your craft on.